Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So there are two different types of freezers uh, that you're going to typically encounter if you're freezer shopping. Uh, one is a traditional freezer like the one I'm standing by, and one is a frost-free freezer. I want to explain the difference to you so that you can be informed if you're shopping for one or just to kind of generally understand uh, what the difference is. So we'll start with this uh, traditional freezer here since that's what we're standing by. And uh, obviously we are in the process of defrosting this. So a traditional freezer will need to be defrosted. So what we've got here are a bunch of shelves and they look like pretty normal shelves for the most part. But if you look closely here in the back edge, there are some tubes running up and down. And if we kind of get a little bit closer here, you can see that those tubes actually go into these shelves and racks. There's one on the top here to cool um, the very top of this freezer. So there's not a warm spot up here, but these shelves are acting as evaporators. So it's got the refrigerant running through these lines and these shelves get really cold and that's what cools down this freezer. Now, consequently, these shelves will accumulate ice because when you have something that's really cold and it's below the dew point of the air in the freezer, they're going to accumulate ice on them. So about once a year, or in our case, it's it was less than that because the door got left, left open just a crack. And when you've got that open a little bit, you're harvesting all the moisture in the air and it's accumulating inside of your freezer. So we're having to defrost it just like any normal freezer would have to be defrosted. A deep freeze, your traditional deep freeze that opens like this is the same way. It's not a frost free freezer because the ice accumulates on the sidewalls because instead of the tubes being right here on a shelf, because it doesn't have shelves, those tubes are actually just right on the other side of the surface of the freezer. So, and you can actually have some upright freezers that have some tubing in the sides as well that's concealed behind this side. So that's how a regular freezer works. Now we'll talk about frost-free. Uh, frost-free freezers are nice because you don't have to defrost them. And the way it works is you have a concealed evaporator. So uh, right back in here, uh, the typical upright freezer like this would have a concealed evaporator in the back right here, and you'd have a fan on the top that pulls the air through that evaporator and therefore cools the air. And the same thing happens though, the moisture accumulates on that evaporator coil and it needs to get rid of that moisture. And so the way it does that is it goes through uh, what we call a defrost cycle. So when it goes into defrost, it shuts off the evaporator fan and it turns on an electric heater that is underneath that coil and it melts all of the frost off of the coil. It then runs down a tube that goes into the bottom of the freezer where it runs into a little pan where the moisture then evaporates into the ambient air. So that's how that extracts the moisture. So it's a pretty ingenious system and it is very convenient to not have to defrost. So now let's talk about some of the pros and cons. So we'll start with um, the pros of a regular freezer. So I'm a refrigeration technician, so I work on freezers um, semi-often and uh, with a regular traditional freezer like this, there's very little to go wrong. Uh, there is no evaporator fan, there's no defrost timer, there's no defrost heater, there's not that tubing that can get plugged up uh, that can cause moisture to still accumulate in a frost-free freezer. And so generally they're a little bit less maintenance and they're more efficient because you don't have to run that electric heater in the back of the freezer and a fan circulating the air all the time. So this is a definitely more efficient and a little bit less maintenance in regards to the actual mechanical maintenance of the unit. Um, but obviously you do have to defrost it. So that is the negative. Now, uh, we'll talk about a couple other negatives with this type. And that would be if you're going to be using a, a freezer for getting into it multiple times uh, per day, uh, a regular freezer is probably not the best option. Long-term storage where you're storing stuff and getting into it once a day or once every other day, a regular freezer is fantastic. So I prefer it for our application. This is the more long-term food storage area. Uh, a regular freezer is better. Uh, the other thing I don't think I mentioned yet is that a regular freezer like this uh, has a tendency to not uh, dehydrate the food as much or it doesn't cause um, freezer burn as fast as it in a frost-free freezer. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about frost-free and uh, let's go upstairs here. 
So pretty much all regular refrigerators or freezers are frost free and they have all those items that I described. They have a fan, they have defrost timers, they have defrost heaters. And uh, there's multiple reasons it's necessary for a refrigerator, but for a freezer, like we talked about before, getting in and out of it multiple times per day causes and allows a lot of moisture to enter the refrigerator. The ambient air has a lot more moisture in it than uh, the air that is inside of the freezer. So um, that's kind of the main reason that it needs to be frost free. And especially for if it was specifically a freezer, you would run into issues really fast if it was not frost free with just ice accumulating in the unit. And uh, that is not really gonna work very well in a especially in a commercial setting and I don't even know if I, it's probably not even allowed to have a regular freezer in a commercial application but even if you had your own personal kitchen or like a summer kitchen or something like that um, where you have a freezer set up um, that's a dedicated freezer a frost free unit is probably necessary if it's not if you're going to be getting into a lot and especially if you're like in a really humid environment so uh, those are kind of the main factors that I can think of for frost free versus a regular freezer. Um, if you can get by with a regular freezer and put up with defrosting it once a year, um, I would say go that direction. But if you have a high need to get into it often, then I would say go with frost free. Uh, both are good options, uh, but as you can tell, I kind of lean towards this if at all possible. So. Uh, if you're going to be defrosting your freezer, uh, I made a video about that. I've got a couple of tips for things to kind of pay attention to in order to not damage the coils that are here. Uh, but now that you understand it, you probably get that anyway. But that link will be in the description if you're interested. So uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button if this helped you, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.